Season's greetings to all. I'm sure this season you must be busy cooking and baking and trying out new recipes for your family. And if you are like me, who has not yet baked the traditional Christmas fruit cake, then join me as today I'm going to share with you the last minute traditional Christmas fruit cake that is filled with fruits and nuts and still moist and soft. This cake has a longer shelf life and towards the end of the recipe I'm going to show you how to maintain the moisture in the cake for a longer time. In my today's recipe I have used red wine to soak the fruits. But if you do not want to use alcohol or if you're giving this cake for your kids, I prefer not to use alcohol. Instead of that, you can replace the red wine with freshly squeezed orange juice or grape juice. With this recipe, I am baking two tins of cake. So if you are baking one tin, then just take half the measurement of what I'm seeing over here. So let's make it, bake it and share it. Let this festive season be filled with peace, joy and love. If you are watching my channel for the first time or you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever I upload any new video, you will be notified. Let's start with baking. For this recipe, I'm taking black currants, raisins, dates, peaches and cherries. So let's begin with chopping the dates. I'm removing the seeds and chopping them very fine. The reason behind chopping them very fine is that they can soak the juices very fast. As you know, this recipe calls only for a short soaking time. Done with the dates and now I'm taking the currants, roughly mincing them and then comes the peaches. Look at this bright orangey color. They are so succulent and juicy. These would definitely absorb the juices very fast. Now comes the cherries. I'm roughly chopping them into three or four pieces. goes into the bowl along with the other dry fruits and finally the golden raisins. For this recipe I am using red wine. If you do not prefer to have alcohol in your recipe you can avoid this and instead of red wine you can use freshly squeezed orange juice or grape juice. Pour in the wine syrup or the preferred juice and mix all these dry fruits very well. Look at those mesmerizing colors. Mix them well so that every side of the dry fruit is coated with the wine or the juice. Now I am going to transfer these dry fruits along with the wine juice into an airtight glass jar and I am going to store them in a dry and a dark place. You can soak it for 2 hours or even up to 8 hours. Since I am running out of time, I am going to do it only for 2 hours. After 2 hours, this is how the fruit jar looks like. The dry fruits have soaked in all the syrup and have plumped up. And now we will go to the second process of the cake making. For this I have taken some dry nuts. Here I have cashew nuts, pistachios, almonds and walnuts. You can use any other preferred nuts like pine nuts or pecan nuts as well as sunflower seeds. I'm going to roughly chop all these nuts into small bits. So 
here goes the final nuts all chopped in into a bowl to this i'm going to add 2 tablespoon of all purpose flour the all purpose flour will coat the nuts from all the sides and when we mix these nuts into the batter the nuts won't sink down that's the purpose of mixing the nuts with the all purpose flour the third process is to prepare the batter for the cake for this i'm taking 5 eggs and i'm separating the egg yolks and the egg whites thereafter on into the egg whites i'm going to add brown sugar if you do not have brown sugar you can use white sugar but i would love to use brown sugar to get the authentic dark color to my cake beat the egg and sugar together until they are light and fluffy the egg whites are done and i'm going to remove the hand blender and give a quick wash because i'm going to now do the creaming for the creaming i have taken butter and caster sugar and i will beat them until light and fluffy the mixture turns into pale yellow color this may take few minutes but creaming the butter is very important for the cake Now I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. This will help in combining the eggs with the butter. Keep on adding egg and keep on blending them well. Now I will start with the fourth process. that is getting the dry ingredients ready for this i'm sifting the all purpose flour baking powder salt sifting fills in the air between the flour and finally to this dry mixture i'm going to add some semolina and give a good mix So here I am ready with all my processes. Now it's just assembling. I have my soaked dry fruits, I have my dry chopped nuts, the egg batters and the sifted flour. So now we are going to assemble them all together. Into the creamed egg yolk batter, I am adding the chopped dry nuts. Gently mix them. Now I'm going to add the sifted flour into the wet mixture but before that I'm sieving it again to incorporate more air. Gently fold in the flour. You don't have to be vigorous over here, just gently folds. And now I'm going to add the egg whites. It's getting difficult to fold in the ingredients in this bowl. So I'm transferring it to a larger bowl now. The final step is to add the soaked dry fruits The Christmas cake batter is ready and it is cream in color but the traditional Christmas cake looks dark in color For this I'm going to caramelize the sugar Heat a pan add in brown sugar if you do not have brown sugar you can add white sugar Let the sugar melt on a low flame. Once it is completely melted, add in warm water. Watch out when you add in the warm water, 
the sugar starts to splash out creating bubbles so be careful at this stage caramelized sugar is formed and allow it to cool down for another 5 to 6 minutes once it is completely cooled down add it to the batter and mix well i'm taking every drip of caramel syrup because i want my cake to smell caramel and also at the same time look dark brown for the last bit of essence and flavor i am going to add the zest of two oranges and give a final mix that's it the cake batter is ready this recipe mixture is for two cakes so i have lined up my two cake tins with parchment paper and before that i have greased it with some butter as you see the cake batter is thick enough so fill the cake tin with half of the batter thereafter tap the cake tin so that in case if there is any air pockets that would come out preheat the oven and transfer the baking tins into the oven This cake requires around 60 minutes baking time. Never be in a hurry to bake the Christmas cake. Let it slowly bake. Here comes the cake. Look at that dark color. Allow it to cool down for around 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm going to demold them. I can't tell you how fragrant my kitchen is. with all those fruits nuts and the smell of baking i'm just waiting to dig into it the cake is completely cooled down and i'm poking with toothpick so that i can add in some more wine to this if you're not using wine you can add in some drops of orange syrup this will make the cake more moist the cake is almost ready but i need to make it presentable so for that i'm going to use some orange jam to create the glaze i'm melting this orange along with one spoon of water in the microwave this is how it looks and i'm going to spoon it all over the cake and this will create the glaze once the spooning of orange jam all over the cake is done i will start garnishing with the dry fruits so here i have some cherries cashew nuts and pistachios feel free to garnish with whatever nuts you like this cake is superb even without any garnishing try out this recipe and i'm sure every christmas you will be longing to try this again this is such an easy simple recipe that will be loved by you and your family and definitely it tastes much better than the store bought christmas fruit cake so this is how i made my last minute christmas fruit cake to keep the cake moist i am cutting them into small pieces and thereafter i am wrapping them in a cling wrap seal them properly and then store it in the refrigerator for a longer duration this way your cake is going to be soft and moist without drying up
watch out for more amazing recipes.